Well, Pete, you look back on 2010, how do you assess it? Oh, listen, a fantastic year for the stable. Um, you know, gone beyond expectations. We had near on 200 winners last racing season. Uh, we've started this season off just as well, if not better, than we did last year. And uh, the stable's looking in great shape. And pleasingly, all the horses that performed for us in the spring have gone to the paddock sound. And uh, they're all starting to dribble back into the stables as we speak now, sort of from December onwards to ready to resume sort of end of January, February. What did that premiership win mean for you? Um, listen, it was a great thrill, you know, I was just happy to sort of be in Victoria competing with the, the likes of your Hayes and Friedmans and Cummings and so on, but to, to win a premiership, it was, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, it was, went beyond my wildest uh, ambitions and, uh, you know, I'm just forever grateful for the great team of owners and horses I've got around me and uh, just as importantly the staff, you know, headed by my jockeys, uh, Luke Nolan, Linda Meach, Jason Benbo, big part of the team, Jeff O'Connor, my racing manager, Tony Hayden, my assistant trainer, you know, it's a great team effort and, uh, you know, it's uh, very, very fulfilling. <laughs> Plenty of great performance throughout the year. What's the one that stood out for you? I think winning that group one with Black Caviar because uh, I just always feared if something went wrong and she didn't get the opportunity to win a group one, it would have been a tragedy. But now she's got that beyond her, um, you know, that was a great relief. And the fact that she's gone on the paddock 100% sound and ready to resume in the autumn, uh, really looking forward to that. Typhoon Tracy, Horse of the Year, you know, it was a great thrill to be associated. She's been the backbone of the stable for two or three seasons now and to win five group ones uh, in the one season was a phenomenal effort on her behalf. What's the plans for 2011? First off for Typhoon Tracy? Uh, she probably resumes late February in the Australia Stakes and then she'll follow the routine of last uh, autumn uh, or Futurity and then we'll probably head to Sydney for the Queen of the Turf and those types of races around that four, you know, 12 to 14, 1500 metre bracket. The Guineas winner, Anna Cheever? He's back in the stables, came back today, looks in great shape. Uh, his main target is the Australian Guineas at this point in time. Uh, he'll have a three run prep culminating in that race. Uh, and hopefully he's m more mature this time round, which he certainly appears to be physically, and then we may look to Sydney, but at this point in time, the Australian Guineas here in March is his main goal. And the all-important one, Black Caviar? Uh, she returns to work next Monday. Um, she'll have a 10-week prep towards the Lightning Stakes, and uh, we've resisted temptation to take her overseas at this point in time. So at the moment, looking Lightning, William Reed, and then we probably head to S Sydney for the TJ Smith, and then maybe even on to Queensland, BDC Cup Doom and 10,000, just keep her in those weight for age races, 1,000 to 1,350, and you know, it's five very suitable Group 1s. But the great thing with her is even on the alternate weeks, there's, uh, there's races like the New Market and the Oakley Plate, although they're handicaps. Uh, you know, I think she's probably still going to get into them with a winnable weight. And, uh, you know, various races along the way if we have to alter or jig our campaign. I'd hope 2011 successful as 2010. Certainly hope so, and it's shaping that way.